Hello, my name is Jayla Denlinger and I am a senior in the Veterinary Science Lab at the Miami Valley Career Technology Center. My project today is determining which type of equine fly spray is the most effective. Horses are an influential part in the lives of many humans. They provide entertainment, hobbies, and relationships. So it's important that owners care for their animals in the best ways possible. This includes protecting them from everyday pests. This project and experiment is completed to test three different types of fly spray and observe which one is the most beneficial. The efficiency of fly spray is determined by the ingredients it contains and the effect it plays on the species that prey on horses. Horse owners use a variety of methods to protect their horses from pests such as flies, gnats, and mosquitoes. These bugs, if not repelled correctly, can negatively affect an animal's overall health and disposition. When determining the most effective control of pests, it's important to understand the type of pests, the effect they may play on horses, and proper means of fly control. This experiment aimed to determine the most effective type of fly spray in an attempt to better control pests and protect the equine species. This knowledge is beneficial not only to horse owners, but also to equine fly spray suppliers, veterinarians, and entomologists because professionals who are aware of the most effective types of fly spray can spread their knowledge in order to help others provide horses with the best comfort and care. The materials I used in my experiment included halters, lead ropes, a counter, pencil, paper, and a clipboard. The three types of fly spray that I tested were Absorbine Ultra Shield Extra, a spray aloe herbal fly repellent, and piranha wipe and spray. The ingredients in Absorbine Ultra Extra include permethrin, pyrethrins, piperonal butoxide, and other ingredients. Absorbine Ultra Shield XL also includes aloe and lanolin. Piranha wipe and spray, on the other hand, includes pyrethrins, piperonal butoxide, butoxy polypropylene, and other ingredients, also including lanolin. And a spray aloe herbal fly repellent includes cedarwood oil, eucalyptus oil, and other ingredients. As you can tell, absorbine and piranha contain ingredients that are insecticides and pesticides, while a spray is an all-natural fly spray. The animal species I used included four geldings, all which are private, privately owned, between the ages of 10 and 26 years old. They are pictured here. The three types of fly spray were tested on the four horses over a period of four trials. The sprays were alternated for each horse on every trial, and during every trial there was one horse tested with no fly spray. The horses were sprayed in the safety of the barn to prevent the wind from inhibiting any results. They were then led one by one to the arena by a handler, and I, with the help of one other observer, counted the amount of flies that landed on each horse over a period of three minutes. The actions caused by flies such as tail swishing, twitching, pawing, and stamping were also observed during this three minutes. The data was then placed into a chart for each trial, and an additional table is shown representing the average values of all the results. My hypothesis was that Piranha Wipe and Spray would be the most effective brand towards fighting flies and other pests due to its pesticidal properties. My uh, results of each trial are shown here of the first two trials. As you can tell, for horse A, piranha wipe and spray, four horses landed on that horse over a period of three minutes, but some swarmed, but, most, or, but they barely landed. A spray resulted in 31 flies with lots of kicking, pawing, and twitching. Ultra Shield Extra resulted in seven flies landing with twitching and rubbing the head on the ankle. And the horse tested with no fly spray had an 30 fly, 38 flies land, and pawing, twitching, and tail swishing took place. The same thing basically happened in my trial number two, with piranha wipe and spray having the least amount of flies, and the absence of fly spray having the most, with Ultra Shield closely following piranha, and a spray being close to the horse with no fly spray. My next two trials showed the same results with the horse without fly spray, having obvious discomfort, attempting to rub the head on the handler, twitching and pawing, while piranha wipe and spray had few twitching, but the horses were content and comfortable. With Ultra Shield, they were also content and comfortable, and with a the spray, there was mild discomfort. My final results, piranha wipe and spray had an average of three and a half flies land on the horse over a three minute period. Absorbine Ultra Shield had 6.25. 
a spray aloe herbal fly repellent had 19, and the horse with the absence of fly spray had 26.5. Piranha wipe and spray is the most effective, followed by Absorbing Ultra Shield Extra, and lastly, a spray aloe herbal fly repellent. However, all three types of fly sprays are efficient in some way, as even a spray resulted in lower numbers than the horse tested with the absence of fly spray. Piranha wipe and spray and absorbing ultra shield both contain insecticides, which makes them much more effective. A spray aloe herbal fly repellent is naturally based and therefore not nearly as efficient. While some horse owners prefer natural fly sprays, insecticide sprays are more useful and they can better protect your horse from pests.